So last time I confronted Ulysses at the Divide. Well, I've now returned to the Mojave Wasteland and I've decided to complete the task that Mr. House set me so long ago. To take the Platinum Chip to Fortification Hill, or I think that was the name of the place, some sort of bunker. The problem is, last time I fired the missile at Caesar's Legion, and this seems to be a Legion-occupied area. So... Get him, boss. I mean if that's if that's it would seem that the Legion is hostile. I didn't intend to shoot the missile at them, but I had no choice. Well, actually, that's not quite true. I could have fired it at the NCR, but I didn't manage to stop the launch. So, I chose the Legion. So yes, it seems they're hostile. Yeah, yeah. Fire. Uh, I'm feeling a little overpowered. <laughs> Anyone? Ah, yes. Go on. Go on. How many are there here? Okay. Am I done now? No? I will take some food. Okay, see how that does. What is this? Hello? Okay. What is this? Uh... Morning. Prisoner place? We're being held here against our will. I beg you, help us. Let me deactivate your collar. Sounds like I don't have much choice. Uh, never mind. I'll see if there's another way to free. Good idea. Working on it. Sorry, I'm just. Gl uh, yes, and I love it. So, I'm thinking I should increase either lockpick or science, and I am going to go with science as for perks I'm going to take the professional up close and personal my sneak attack criticals with pistols, revolvers and submachine guns whether with guns or energy weapons all inflict an additional 20% damage well it doesn't look like I can free these And in any case, my main objective is not here. I'm trying to get to the camp and that bunker. It would seem that this is the place. Let's go to the fort. Okay. Quite a few around here. And yes, I'm wearing Ulysses Duster from before. Requires a key, although there is a sunset. Oh, empty. I have a feeling 
this might be quite a long battle. Now the bunker is over on the other side, it would seem. We're going this way. Okay, I'm shooting them. Come on. There we go. I guess. Seasons of Legion Infamy get. Okay. Stand still. Leave me alone. Uh, that's a child. Whoops. Okay, I guess we're doing this. Uh, back up, back up. Yeah, I didn't realize I was shooting at a child. Oh well. Didn't seem to hurt them. You don't really see that many children in the Westlands for some reason. Oh. I give up. Well, this is the way into the camp by the looks of it. Leg legionary blacksmith. And a veteran legionary. Uh, slaves. Don't shoot the slaves. So I have to. Retribution. These guys move around a lot. I saw you. Maybe not fast enough there. That must be misfortune. Uh, yeah, I got stuck on the bus there. This may take quite a while. And some of these guys are tougher than others. Can I carry on now? This is a dead end. I don't really know where I'm going, I just know I need to go through this camp. What's up here, anyway? Is this where Caesar lives? Okay, a lot of people in there. Okay, I guess we're doing this. 
What? I see you. Uh, I see there's some more down there, but... Down there. Uh, is he going out of frame or something? Oh, there we go. Are you? I would never have noticed. Why am I not... Okay. Are they all dead now? I don't really want to get into a fight with Caesar's Legion, but as I said before, I didn't really have a choice. Rolls down. Ah, Caesar himself is now dead. Well, they're not going to like me anymore, are they? Not that they liked me before, but... Whatever. Now, I suppose I should actually have a proper look in the tent. Stand still. Are we dead in here? Okay, an auto attack. Yeah, I'm the boss now. There's nobody left. Oh well. I didn't plan on exterminating Caesar's Legion, but... Oh well. Time to actually get on with the reason I'm here. Oh. Uh, there might be a bit more fighting here first. The anti-material rifle has a huge kickback. Missed. Come on. They, uh, they can't tell where I am, can they? doing a very good job here. Or maybe I am. I think that was a headshot. That was. You, I mean, they're just in the way. And they're a hostile, so I don't really have much choice. Oh, come on. There we go. I think I'm done now. I have one shot left. C 
So, where's the entrance to this bunker I was looking for? I'm gonna find out I didn't have to go through here. Oh no, this is it. Another kill to my name. Okay. to change weapons. What has ammo? Not that many. I have to use a plasma pistol. And it uses a lot more ammo. No, it doesn't. It uses a lot more action points. This is ridiculous. These hit really hard. Okay. Am I done yet? Okay, simply a me What the? I thought he was dead. Wow. Um, I'm gonna have to eat a lot of food, aren't I? See how that does. It probably isn't enough. Terminal. So how do I open this? How do I open this? Well, this. Oh, yeah, but how do I insert the platinum chip? Yes, that's how we do it. Let's go into the bunker. It's secure drone vault. So yes. Mr. House wanted me to come here. Ah yes. I see you reached your destination safely. Shall we get to work? What is this place? It's a facility I built many years before you were born. You might think of it as a barracks. You'll understand soon enough. Why did he send me here? As you know, the Platinum Chip upgrades my Securitron's operating software. Well, there's an army of them here. Uh. The Securitron's policing the Strip are a fraction of the total number manufactured. The rest I stored here. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. That means I can't deactivate its security bots, most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. Okay. What will you do with your Securitrons? My army will do what an army does best. Defend territory from invaders, and maintain order. And what was that you said about security systems? The same equipment failure that prevents me from remotely operating this facility seems to have activated its security robots and turrets. There's a security room near the base of the stairs. Perhaps you can deactivate them yourself. Okay, we'll see what happens. I like to think you have enough sense to do the right thing. The rewards for doing so are immense as are the punishments for not doing so. So it sounds like we've got robots here. So I will get my EMP gun out. Uh, yeah, everything... Oh, the sentry bots are on standby. But everything else is active. Nice!
got a plasma rifle. I am gonna take some radics. And some stuff to heal with. Oh, all of those are empty. Protection... Protectron Operations Terminal. Monolithic. Cancel security alert for Protectrons. Okay, now the turrets. Escorted. Ooh, that's a lot. Reported. Correct. Cancel security alert. And the sentry belt operations. They're already off. Okay. So... I shouldn't have a lot to do here. Uh... Yeah, so these are the sentry butts. So I can just walk straight through and be completely ignored by all of these things. Oh wow, so it's, yeah, literally a bunker full of these Securitrons. Come on, this is nice and easy. Nice refreshing wander through a bunker. After all that fighting against Caesar's Legion and everything else I've been fighting for such a long time. I will do, if I can find the way Move along. along okay, looks like I'm going this way. Computer room door. Security and operations console. Is there anything else in here? Insert the platinum chip and install Mach 2 upgrade software. Okay, we have found. Back to house. Oh, well, they should just walk back? Okay. Okay. Your work here is done. Return to the Lucky 38 so we can discuss next steps. You have a very bright future ahead of you. Thanks to your actions today, so does the rest of mankind. Okay. Whoops. I guess I'd better get going back to the Lucky 38 then. It's a while since I've been to the New Vegas Strip. Yeah, well, I guess this place is completely barren now. Nobody left, apart from the odd surviving slave. They can go free. So, I'm back at the Lucky 38 on the New Vegas Strip. And I need to go and talk to Mr. House. Where to, partner? Although, I might go to the presidential suite first and drop off Roll. Because I'm not allowed to take him up. I can't believe we were allowed inside the Lucky 38. That place has been a legend since before the war. Yep. Uh, I think I'm going to need to head on without you. Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. It is. Wait here. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. Okay. Hey. We've got Veronica, Eddie. Uh, I think that's it. I don't think I met anyone else. Unless I'm forgetting someone. Oh! Although, Father Elijah said something. What's up? Never mind. See? Evidently, that doesn't mean anything to her. I roll her sweet! But Father Elijah definitely mentioned something at the Sierra Madre. In any case, I should talk to Mr. House. Yes. Am I in the right place? I 
I'm not in the right place, am I? The penthouse, that's where I should have gone. Do not be alarmed. We have been upgraded to serve you better. Have a nice day. Sure. The foundation is laid. My securitrons on the strip are upgraded, and those at the fort ready for action. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups while we wait for Caesar's legion to attack Hoover Dam. Okay. So, what's the next step? Outside New Vegas, at what was once called Nellis Air Force Base, resides an unusual tribe known as the Boomers. They are, shall we say, aggressively reclusive. They have several howitzers they fire at anyone who dares approach the base. Artillery of this sort has a range of several miles. If it's going to fire on Hoover Dam, I want it firing at my targets. If not, then I want to make sure that the Boomers don't sign similar treaties to fire their guns in support of the NCR or Caesar's Legion. Fair enough. I'll make sure they support the right side. Use extreme caution when approaching the base. Their firepower is considerable. Recently, one of my roaming Securitrons observed a man near the base studying the pattern of its artillery fire. Maybe he's learned something. Okay. Uh, can I ask some questions? Any progress with the Boomers? I'd like to ask some questions. What did you want to discuss? You do know Caesar is dead, don't you? By my calculations, his death will affect the shape of the battle for Hoover Dam minimally, if at all. The Legion's aggression will outlive Caesar. Indeed, they'll try to take the dam as a tribute to his memory. Given a year, they'd have him deified. But by then, the Legion will be breaking down, riven by internal conflicts, a monster consuming itself. It's irrelevant. In the short term, the Legion is still monster enough that defeating it will make me look powerful indeed. What else did you want to discuss? Fair enough. I'm surprised he haven't asked me what became of Benny. That's because he ceased to be relevant when you recovered the Platinum Chip. Revenge doesn't interest me. Progress does. Sorry to deny you a moment of primate triumph, but you'll have to go elsewhere to sound your barbaric yacht. What else did you want to discuss? I was just saying... How will the NCR defend Hoover Dam? General Oliver's strategy, or tunnel vision, as I like to call it, has been to mass troops at Hoover Dam. He wants to outfight the Legion in a straightforward slugging match, and then, when they rout, pursue and destroy them in detail. A crushing, decisive victory of this sort would overshadow the tactical ingenuity of Chief Hanlon's defense four years ago, you see. I see. What's your battle plan for the dam? A good deal should be obvious to you by now. I won't spoil the rest by talking out of turn. Fair enough. What else did you want to discuss? What are your plans for New Vegas? I've resurrected Vegas, spirit intact. What I need now is the ability to enforce my rightful claim. Not just against Caesar's Legion, by the way. In fact, the NCR is a more present and insidious threat. And how do you intend to enforce your claim on the city, with the Securitrons? To enforce, one must have force. A position of strength. Years ago, when I detected NCR scouts roaming the Mojave, I could tell from their uniforms that these were no mere tribesmen. I knew it was only a matter of time before an army appeared to take control of the dam, and I knew my Securitrons wouldn't be enough to oppose them. And so I recruited the three families, Vegas belongs to me because I mustered enough strength to bring the NCR to the bargaining table. Fair enough. And the NCR's army wasn't big enough to defeat the Securitrons and the Three Families? 
Indeed, it was, and still is, but not without taking significant casualties. Right. Would Kimball and Oliver have traded the lives of hundreds of soldiers for absolute control of Hoover Dam? Oh, yes. They weren't afraid of me. They were afraid of Caesar, that attacking me would leave them vulnerable to a legion offensive. And so they negotiated, not out of the kindness of their hearts, as they try to make it seem, because the calculus of power left no other choice. What were the terms of your treaty with the NCR? NCR forces were permitted to occupy Hoover Dam and establish a military base at McCarran Airport. Well, it used to be one. They recognized my sovereignty over the Vegas Strip and agreed to supply electricity and water once their engineers repaired the dam. Written into the treaty were provisions that the NCR do nothing to prevent its soldiers and civilians from visiting the Strip. That's how I harness the NCR to my endeavor. Their occupation has been the engine of my growing economy. Okay. You would go to war against the NCR? The salient issue is that they will go to war with me, if given the chance. There's just one reason why the NCR hasn't contrived some outrage to justify invading the Strip. Caesar's Legion. Of course. The final battle between those two armies is fast approaching. I can't afford to let either side win on their terms. What else did you want to discuss? Because then they'll turn their attention to you. I see. So you keep control of New Vegas. What happens next? New Vegas is more than a city. It's the remedy to mankind's derailment. The city's economy is a blast furnace in which can be forged the steel of a new rail line running straight to a new horizon. What is the NCR? A society of people desperate to experience comfort, ease, luxury. A society of customers. With all that money pouring in, Give me 20 years, and I'll reignite the high-technology development sectors. 50 years, and I'll have people in orbit. 100 years, and my colony ships will be heading for the stars to search for planets unpolluted by the wrath and folly of a bygone generation. You mean... you intend to advance mankind? But in the meantime, you'd rule Vegas as some kind of dictator? I prefer the term autocrat. I would rule as a chief executive. I would not answer to a board of directors or any other entity. Nothing to impede progress. If you want to see the fate of democracies, look out the windows. You have a point, but what's to keep you from abusing your power? My judgment. I have no interest in abusing others, just as I have no interest in legislating or otherwise dictating what people do in their private time. Nor have I any interest in being worshipped as some kind of machine god messiah. I am impervious to such corrupting ambitions. But autocracy? Firm control in the hands of a technological and economic visionary? Yes, that Vegas shall have. What else did you want to discuss? Okay. So you're actually about the only person who's actually trying to get mankind back on track. And that just made me want to support you more than the NCR. What was Vegas like before the war? It was a place of splendor. As magnificent as today's strip may seem, it's but a shadow of the neon paradise that was Las Vegas. I grew up not far from here, and though I traveled the old world extensively, I never found another place like it. You say you saved Las Vegas? How? By 2065, I deemed it a mathematical certainty that an atomic war would devastate the Earth within 15 years. Every projection I ran confirmed it. I knew I couldn't save the world, nor did I care to, but I could save Vegas, and in the process, perhaps save mankind. I set to work immediately. I thought I had plenty of time to prepare. As it turned out, 
I was 20 hours short. What preparations did you make to save Las Vegas? On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted Las Vegas and its surrounding areas. My networked mainframes were able to predict and force transmit disarm code subsets to 59 warheads, neutralizing them before impact. Laser cannons mounted on the roof of the Lucky 38 destroyed another nine warheads. The rest got through, though none hit the city itself. A suboptimal performance, admittedly. If only the platinum chip had arrived a day sooner. So that was... 10 hits, if I remember the numbers right? Why didn't the platinum chip arrive on time? The platinum chip was printed in Sunnyvale, California on October 22nd, 2077. The day before the Great War. Ah. It was to have been delivered by courier the following afternoon. But by then, the world had ended. The chip contained vital software upgrades, but not just for my Securitrons. Every aspect of the missile defense grid would have been upgraded, too. Given that I had to make do with buggy software, the outcome could have been worse. I nearly died as it was. How did you nearly die defending Vegas? Software glitches set off a cascade of system crashes. I had to take the Lucky 38's reactor offline, lest it melt down. For nearly five years, I battled power outages and more system crashes until I finally managed to reboot my data core with an older version of the OS. I spent the next few decades in a veritable coma, but I survived, obviously, and eventually thrived. Okay. What else did you want to discuss? Tell me about the boomers. They occupied Nellis Air Force Base a little over 50 years ago. One of my Securitrons got some video of their arrival and then exploded. Odds are they were vault dwellers. That's everything I know about them, really. Okay. That's enough about the boomers. What else did you want to discuss? A woman named Emily asked me to book one of your data terminals. One of the followers of the apocalypse, I'm sure. They're curious about me. Good luck planting a surveillance device here in the Lucky 38 without my knowing about it. What else did you want to discuss? Interesting. Okay. Well, I suppose I'll be on my way to meet the boomers then. Goodbye. Uh... Welcome to the Vegas Strip. Thanks. Uh, I guess I should go to the ground level. I haven't actually looked around here. Perhaps I should. That's very quiet. Ooh, nuka cola. And whiskey. And since that's Aspera. And scotch. I can sell all that, I suppose. It's not actually very much over here. Just a lot of gambling things. Spin machines. What's back there? Nothing. Okay, how about up here? Interesting. A terminal. What does this do? Was that the right decision? Anything in here? Not a great deal. Some pretty well money. I suppose I should get going, really. But now I have to go and tell the followers of the apocalypse about that. Or maybe not. Oh! 
Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Yes. It looks like we've started getting reports from the tower's network. I'm sure the others will be able to make some sense of this. Oh, what the hell? The bug went offline. Damn it! I swear to God that old man has thought of everything. Well, it looks like this was all for nothing. But you did your best. I appreciate the help. Well, on that note, I suppose I should probably go and get the boomers to support House before he complains. Although, I've just realized I haven't brought anyone with me. So I should probably go and recruit somebody. So, uh, I want to go to visit the Cocktail Lounge? I've not got an idea. No, this isn't not the right place, is it? No, this is the place where I. This is the place where I walk around in circles and, um. Yeah. Is it the presidential suite then? Yes. Oh, and I found that snow globe thing. Uh, so. Eddie. Companion protocol begin. And, uh, shall I take Veronica? Where is she? Ah, there she is. What's up? I think we should travel together. Let's go make trouble. Okay. Time to go. And meet the boomers. So this would seem to be the road to the boomers. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Thanks for the warning. What's going on past those signs? Oh, lordy lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living on? Oh, I've heard of them. That's why I'm here. They're a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Is there a way to get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. Wager? Well, it doesn't look like I have a choice. Let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Wow. I don't... I really need to increase my barter skill. Uh... Fine. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. I hear reports of Legion raiding parties all over the place. They can't open. Sure. Um... What does it say? Key to avoiding the artillery is to move from building to building up the northwest side of town towards the front gate. Stick to the high cover in the northeast corner of the two buildings. Then make a beeline for the gate. Okay. Move from building to building up the northwest side of the town. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I just heard something. Run. 
Why isn't this working? Oh, I know why. Well, I sort of got Hold through. Right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Simple enough. Run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. I didn't come here to attack you. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Alright, lead the way. Follow close, and mind your behavior. I can take care of them. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? Did I've I? been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Uh... How might it be of, of assistance? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. How can we trust each other if you're going to be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers, my youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Okay, and where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to, and Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. A robot problem for you. Just Fair enough. Uh, do I just go out the door and wander around then? And see if I can find anyone to help? Uh... So... I've made contact with the boomers. Who is over here? Boomer Museum. That was, um... Mentioned, wasn't it? Who are you? You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Uh... Yeah, sure. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? I haven't actually looked at it, but, uh... Go on. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Oh, wow. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. That's a vault. Vault 34. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. That's very specific. 43.6. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage. But, anyways, Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. Interesting. 
that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Uh, now go that on you then. know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Yeah. Well, first up, who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don, well... Whiskey and landmines don't go together. Ah. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. Yeah, I have some questions about your people's history. Ask away. Why did your ancestors leave the safety of a vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was number 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. And your people were willing to risk it for all for freedom? And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. But otherwise, it's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? I'm surprised a place like Nellis was empty when your people found it. Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the Waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. Whereas your people had brought Geiger counters with them from the vault. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav. An outsider. Anything else you want to know? How did you survive totally cut off from the world like this? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. You must cultivate soy or legumes for protein in addition to grains. Indeed we do. Very impressive. Anything else you want to know? What are the Howitzers doing at an Air Force base? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis, and it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. That howitzer battery is a monument to grit and the resolve of your people. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know? How has Nellis taught your people to fly? Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese, Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. Oh, to slip the silly bonds of earth and dance amid the soaring birds. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? So, how did you learn where to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. You could attach ballast to the plane and then haul it here for repairs? Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Maybe. I'm looking to make myself useful. Who needs help around here? Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He could use help tending to any injured we got. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. 
I see. Well, thanks for that interesting story. I'll be on my way. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. A bunch of shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold technology over them. Gee, where have I heard that one before? Uh... Oh, right, Brotherhood of Steel. Wait, that's... Another snow glove. So... Uh... What else can I do around here? There are a couple of bunkers here. That might be the kind of place you might find a doctor or something. Well, a hospital, I mean. A schoolhouse. A medical station. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patience to tend to. Um... I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? I have extensive medical knowledge. Let's see what I can do. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Uh, let's see... The man's leg is seriously injured. It may require amputation to save him. Okay... Actually, I can save it. And I have. Treatment. I hadn't thought of that. Okay, what about this person? Severely injured. He has swelling around his face and his neck is interfering with his breathing. Okay. Actually, it's just a strong allergic reaction. I can clean out the ant, ant venom and administer a treatment to reduce the swelling and breathing to normal. I thought that man was done for, but you brought him around. There's a serious infection. Improper treatment would kill him, but I think I can treat him with a combination of natural herbs and bandages and some disinfectant. Hopefully that'll boost his immune system enough that it'll survive. Fine doctor. I could learn a thing or two from you. Yes, outsider? Uh, is that... I finished treating your patients. Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages, when it comes to medicine at least. Indeed. Can you spare any medical supplies? Sorry, friend. We really don't have a need for wasteland currency around here. We produce most of what we need. Fair enough. I'll be on my way then. See ya. So, I suppose I can continue on helping the boomers in order to gain their support in the Battle of Hoover Dam. But that will be next time.